So, every once in a while you run into one of those horses that, with a hoof that's just going to baffle the crap out of you. So, this, this is my Mustang Indy. And there's several videos up on YouTube about him back when we were living in Vermont. And uh, when we moved out here and the changes he made, his laminitis. And I showed you the varying... Uh, what I really depend on is that collateral groove to tell me what's going on. Well, this guy became very flat-footed over the winter. And even with the snow and the moisture and everything, straight hay diet, uh, I, I couldn't scratch anything at the collateral groove. The what was happening is the the retention of the frog connected to that soul was just not allowing, you know, I'm not going to scratch hard. I want to be able to find some chalkiness down in that groove. Well, I wasn't finding it. And I said, well, what the heck is going on with you? He wasn't sore-footed at all. I trimmed him back uh to where I always do and always have been. But uh, he, he was showing me signs of a horse that would ha be having thin soles. And he should have been sore footed from the indicators I was seeing. But trim him, he was fine. So we had snow late. I mean, it stayed late like a lot of other people in the country. Uh, we're experiencing a long winter, uh, snow, uh, and then May, even here in the northern desert, which is unusual, uh, we've gotten a lot of rain in May. So I'm going to show you as best I can. I saw this last night, and this is why I pick my horse's feet every single day. Because I want to see what's going on. So the last two times I've trimmed them, we've been in some dry conditions here. Uh, we had a very short window, maybe of about two weeks. When the snow went away, the ground finally dried up. And their hooves were getting very hard. And I said, well, I'm going to trim these before they get rock hard like they were last summer I showed you that uh, so I'm going to take them down below and I'm going to show you it's not as nice as what I saw last night because just in that period of 12-14 uh, hours it, it it's already showing way more uh visuals than what I saw last night but I I wanted to make sure I got this on video so I'll take it down below and and show you what's going on so like I mentioned earlier and you can see uh, very very flat here you know, and I couldn't scratch. This is this is the thing that was really baffling me is because I scratched down here. See, even right now, uh, it's not showing really much of anything, you know. So even if I lay the rasp across there, he doesn't have a lot of depth there. It It's damn near invisible. I mean... You know, back in here, but what was happening is the retention between the frog and the false sole, uh, you wouldn't get it even in the wintertime in the snow. It, it wasn't showing. I should be able to scratch this deeper in here if he's got good concavity. So I was really worried. The only factor was that. Uh, he wasn't sore, which was baffling to me. I said, because when you're that flat-footed, 
you're always sore. So, and like I said, you it's way more evident. So I was just cleaning up his, his hoof last night, and I, I see, see how much chalkiness I'm getting out here? And you could see how much has fallen off. Uh, Justin, uh, you know, I did take a little chunk off here, but, uh, so I want to see whether this continues to stay flat or this gets deeper because my pinto mare is showing the same, same signs of, of this going on, but it, it's only a very thin layer and she maintains a good depth of concavity even though she's getting this sloughing of sole. So uh, I'm going to shove my hoof pick in there, and this side shows way more than the other uh, right front. But I'm just going to, see, I'm just lifting it up with my, my hoof pick. But what I want to see is if, if that flow to the bowl tapers down deeper in here. See, this stuff all wants to peel off. Normally, I do it with, with my nippers. But I'm just shoving my hoof pick underneath it. And it's retaining a little bit more towards the back. But I, I will get my nippers and, and grab a hold of it and peel it. But like I said... I want to see if there is any depth of concavity here. So let me grab my. And I'll just grab a hold of that, the bar and all. So, you know, this way here I've got a little more leverage. And this is not much different than uh, what what you've seen me taking off false sole before. But like I said, what was really baffling me was the fact that I couldn't scratch along the collateral groove. So you can see how much that is lifted up there. See all the bars peeled off and there's not a lot of, a lot of depth, but it is showing me way more than being dead flat footed see it's still it's still chalky I'm not really cutting anything I'm use yes I'm using the blade in but I want to see I'm just doing it very lightly I want to see what I've got so that that's the end of the chalkiness there but see here, the front of the frog. And that's another thing you, you don't, a lot of people don't realize when they say you don't cut the frog. But if you look right here, see, there, the frog will actually get a chalky surface where it wants to slough, just like your hoof wall, does, your soul does. So... You know, same thing with the outside here. I'm not, I'm just scratching. I'm not, I mean, yes, I'm using a sharp end, but I'm just scraping. And I want to see what actually wants to scrape off without putting any pressure on it. So here, you know, the apex is lifting a little bit. I'm going to cut that off. See, and there's, there's chalkiness at the tip of the frog. That's what I really wanted you to see. 
uh, not that this is any extreme measure, but it, it, it's unusual for uh, a horse to retain soul like that and uh, have it adhere to the frog, between the frog and the soul. So much so that you, uh, I don't put any more pressure to cut these kind of things than what's required. Like you see me just, I'm just scraping it with the knife. So I don't put any excessive pressure on there to find out where my depth is. Let me get this camera just right. It sure would be nice to have somebody videotaping. So I'm not actually going to trim them here. I just want to show you how much more of a trim he really needs more than what appears. If you just look, see, I'm just I'm just scratching with my nipper just like I would with the knife. I'm just letting it scratch. So you see, you can see how much uh, hoof wall he has in the back here. You know, from I showed you on uh, the normal hoof growth video. He's got a good quarter of an inch of growth here and here and back here. See the, how much of a jump I have here now? I'll scratch this side off with my knife. Just like I did with my nip on the other side. And here, do you see the separation of the frog right here? See the line? See that white chalkiness? Well, you know, and this has got to be cleaned out, the central sulcus. Same thing over here with the frog. But I, I wanted you to see this. So no, he doesn't have an extreme amount of concavity there. But it certainly is more evident than what it was when he was... Uh, retaining that with it, uh, you know, between the frog and the soul. And now that the side of this will actually trim up better. That's looking a whole lot better than it was. So there you have it. I'm not going to get into extremes. You know, I'll go in and do the rest of that hoof, but really no need to see it I showed you it, these are the indicators I mean look at the you should be able to see the pocketing on, on this side try to get this see I mean here here's the the hook end of my knife, you can see how much, uh, uh, you know, like I said, it's a good, it's a good quarter of an inch, and that's even with my hoof wall. So this frog is going to be, need to be trimmed up, 
until I get rid of the chalkiness there. So, yes, frogs need to be trimmed. You know, if I took this horse out for a ride, uh, all that stuff would have came off. Pretty much. It would have been like a, a flappy sole on a old shoe. So, I just wanted to show you that. So, I'll show you. Here's the finished product. Uh, and you could see how much, how nice and clean this collateral groove has come out. And you can still see chalkiness down in the bottom of it. That, you know, and I, I brought his brake over way back to where he always is when he gets trimmed. But that's it. In a nutshell.